Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have manufacturing industry. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to define manufacturing business, understand the importance of manufacturing industry on the economy, and apply business principles, tools, and techniques in the manufacturing industry. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It is the definition of a manufacturing business. A. The manufacturing business is any business that uses components, parts, or raw materials to make a finished good. B. The manufacturing business is the business which transforms inputs into outputs through the use of tools, human labor, machinery, and chemical processing. C. Manufacturing business includes the process of turning raw materials into finished goods. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. 2. Below are the examples of a manufacturing business, except a. Machinery and equipment. b. Rubber and plastic products. c. Wearing apparel. d. Medical clinic. The answer is d. Medical clinic. 3. It refers to the cost advantage experienced by a firm when it increases its level of output. a. Cost efficiencies. b. Economies of scale. c. Budget constraints. d. Production costs. The answer is b. Economies of scale. 4. These are the effects of economies of scales on the production costs, except a. It reduces the per unit fixed cost. b. It reduces the per unit variable cost. c. As a result of increased production, the fixed cost gets spread over more output than before. d. None of the above. The answer is d. None of the above. 5. According to PSA, the economy dropped by 16.5% in the second quarter of 2020. What was the performance of the manufacturing industry? A. Decreased by 21.3%. B. Decreased by 33.5%. C. Increased by 1.6%. D. Increased by 26.5%. The answer is A. Decreased by 21.3%. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Enumerate and discuss Porter's five forces. A manufacturing business is any business that uses components, parts, or raw materials to make a finished good. These finished goods can be sold directly to consumers or other manufacturing businesses for making a different product. Manufacturing businesses in today's world are normally comprised of machines, robots, computers, and humans that all work in a specific manner to create a product. 
Large-scale manufacturing allows for the mass production of goods using assembly line processes and advanced technologies as core assets. Efficient manufacturing techniques enable manufacturers to take advantage of economies of scale, producing more units at a lower cost. Economies of scale refer to the cost advantage experienced by a firm when it increases its level of output. The advantage arises due to the inverse relationship between the per unit fixed cost and quantity produced. The greater quantity of the output produced, the lower the per unit fixed cost. Economies of scale would also result in a fall in the average variable costs as output increases. This is brought about by operational efficiencies as a result of an increase in the scale of production. Economies of scale can be implemented by a firm at any stage of the production process. In this case, production refers to the economic concept of manufacture and involves all activities related to a commodity. Thus, a business can decide to implement economies of scale in its marketing division by hiring a large number of marketing professionals. A business can also adopt the same in its input sourcing division by moving from human labor to machine labor. Effects of economies of scale on production costs. It reduces the per unit fixed cost. As a result of the increased production, the fixed cost gets spread over more output than before. It reduces per unit variable costs. This occurs as the expanded scale of production increases the efficiency of the production process. Manufacturing industry in the Philippines. According to the Board of Investment, the Philippine manufacturing industry remains to be the most important sector for long-term productive employment, value-added generation, and innovation. It has the highest multiplier effect on the economy compared to other sectors. Manufacturing is called the engine of the economy. Many services exist because of manufacturing, hence many service jobs will disappear if manufacturing disappears. Manufacturing creates more quality and gainful employment, as it has extensive linkages not only among its sub-sectors but also with other industries, not to mention that it can further make the services and logistics sectors more active. Increasing manufacturing activities also have spillover effects of inducing additional demand from the agriculture and resource-based industries. The latest annual survey of Philippine Business and Industry ASPBI, showed a total of 24,200 manufacturing establishments in 2017. This represents a 13.6% decrease from the 28,003 manufacturing establishments recorded in 2016. Among industry groups, the manufacture of other food products accounts for 7,880 establishments or 32.6% of the total. Manufacture of beverages followed by 2,407 9 .9 establishments. Printing and service activities related to printing ranked third with 1,581 6 .5 establishments. The total employment generated by manufacturing establishments reached 1.3 million in 2017. The main contributors to the decline were manufacturing with negative 21.3%, construction with negative 33.5%, transportation and storage with negative 59.2%. For your activities, number one. Name at least five manufacturing businesses that operate in your area or within Metro Manila. Activity number two. From the list above, choose one manufacturing business and identify its business environment and competitiveness using any of the business tools, environmental scanning, SWOT analysis, or Porter's Five Forces model. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is manufacturing business? 2. What is the importance of the manufacturing industry on the economy? 
Reflect on this. No matter how great the talent or efforts, some things just take time. You can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. Warren Buffett. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.